This ghost has had a few too many. Posted to the ghosts subreddit by Best of Us, here is yet another haunted bar whose resident ghosts sauced up antics were caught on camera. Watch the bottles to the left of the bar. One bottle on the second shelf starts to nudge toward the edge. While a wet surface sometimes has that effect on items placed on that surface, it usually doesn't lead to this. After inching slowly toward the ledge, the bottle takes a sudden jarring leap knocking a second bottle below it off the display. This doesn't seem like a natural progression. Rather, it seems like the bottle was yanked from the ledge by some unseen entity. Many in the comments relate their own stories of haunted bars, with Redditor Your Dumb Idiot chiming in. I used to work at a bar that was haunted. Always the same bottle thrown off the shelf in the morning despite me moving it to prove it wasn't a ghost. While many, including myself, wonder what these bar ghosts could possibly want from us by throwing bottles around, Redditor Tech Impaired has one theory. He writes, They just wanted some booze. I see what they did there. Emergency workers gather outside of a room where something terrible has happened and lives were possibly lost. As the camera zooms in, it catches a scary looking figure peering back at them. Its neck twisted so many times that it has become long and thin. The closer they zoom in, the more facial detail I see. Its face is half shrouded in darkness, but I can see the eyes, and it has tall black hair. Or maybe it's simply a crack in the wall. Uncanny videos without explanations are often creepy in their own right, but this one takes it to a whole new level. Posted to YouTube by Gugun Reaper in October of 2016, the video is titled, What Are You Thinking? Deep Web Video. Soon it will have you asking yourself that very question. The clip shows someone in a black trash bag with a white cloth tied over his head. The thing coughs a few times, looking super sad and terribly creepy. At one point it lifts its hands to its mouth and suddenly its mouth is flooded red. It's unclear what is happening. Is this thing coughing up red liquid? Fernando Costa suggests in the comments. He was starting to hick it all up slowly, then blam. Bile and everything all finally came up. In the end, the thing holds a piece of paper with writing on it. You can see through the paper. And though he's holding it upside down, it reads, What are you thinking after watching this video? All it's doing for me is creeping me out. If you encountered ghost footprints at your workplace, would you be able to continue working there as though nothing happened? Published to YouTube by Korean channel Saiwon Yoon in April of 2020, the uploader writes, The footprints of ghosts caught by the CCTV in the recording studio. The surveillance footage shows a recording studio at night. After capturing an odd glitch on camera in a certain area of the studio, which the uploader notes look like footprints, the crew sets up some paranormal sensors to see whether or not any spirit activity exists in the room. As you can see, the sensors are blowing up. They indicate something is moving in the darkness. Imagine sensing a paranormal presence in the studio, something you cannot see with the human eye, and then having that presence confirmed via these sensors. The idea certainly disturbs some sound technicians. YouTuber High and Sick Woo wrote in the comments, I was also surprised when I watched the video. I can't broadcast alone. I can't go to the studio at night. Would you be able to after seeing this? Because this footage appears real to me. A YouTuber named Travis Andrew Barker and his brother were watching the movie Titanic one day when his brother noticed someone in the background who looked completely out of place. Travis wasn't sure if his brother was just messing with him, but as it turns out, he was telling the truth after all. If you could see right there, we pause the movie and there's Jack and there's Rose. If you look back there, you'll see the Slenderman. I honestly can't say that I've seen this movie that many times, so I'm not sure how legitimate this sighting is. If you are familiar with the movie and recognize the scene, then please let me know what is going on here and explain who this mysterious background character is. If nobody can come forward with details, then this very well may be the first Slenderman sighting in a Hollywood movie. 
For those of you who haven't heard or don't remember, on August 13th, 2018, a man named Chris Watts made national headlines after taking the lives of his two daughters, Bella and Celeste, and his wife Shanann, who was 15 weeks pregnant. Two police investigators and a special canine handler now searched the Watts residence on August 14th, one day after Shanann was reported missing. They are confident that their dog will be able to sniff out any DNA evidence that Chris Watts may have tried to scrub away. What they find instead is an abundance of paranormal evidence as recorded by their chest-mounted camera. Like this part where I hear the unmistakable laughter of a child as they pass through Bella's room at 12 minutes and 32 seconds. Listen for yourself, there's no denying it. I'm hoping that was a motion activated doll or something, but I doubt it, especially given what else they hear in the next room over. A voice says something like, I have CC, which is short for Celeste, and they are standing in the room of Celeste too. Then again, I think it could be the canine handler saying something under her breath as she checks the closet, so maybe it's not paranormal after all. Things get weird once again as they enter the garage. Another voice, a woman this time. But it could be the officer whispering something to herself. Moments later, they pass by these containers in the garage. Containers Chris was believed to have used to transport the bodies from the house into his truck. The dog sniffs them, but everything looks clean. As they are walking away, they record this. It's a wail of agony coming from all directions at once. But that's not all. The most compelling evidence occurs in the very beginning, but I've saved it for last. Check out the top of the stairway on the left when they first enter. There is some movement that I find very strange. It could be a trick of the light playing across the rails, but I see a little girl rushing down the steps. A girl with a short haircut. She vanishes before she reaches the bottom. And this event also coincides with a shadow figure sighting recorded by police on a different night after the home security alarm mysteriously went off on its own. It's in the same area and roughly the same size as before. A poor girl, lost, looking down at the entrance and disappearing before she reaches the bottom of the stairs. Is this a party or on the roof? While in this first video, it looks like something just floating there. In the second video though, it's on the move. That's definitely a ghost in my opinion, and it's 500% creepy. Let's just hope this spirit was just looking to party. While well, most of the scary clips from the woods could potentially be wild animals, this one's a head scratcher. Published to YouTube by Ian Black in September of 2020, this isn't the shriek of a mountain lion or some other wild cat. This is next level terrifying. The roar echoes through the calm woods as though you're at the bottom of a well. While at first it may sound puzzling, the mystery is solved when the cameraman tells his dog, we've missed the train. We missed the train, Mo. But without such context, 
What would you feel if you were blasted with this off-putting roar during your nature walk? I guess lesson learned. Stay away from the tracks. YouTuber Handle Bandle published this clip to YouTube in June of 2017 writing that a relative had contacted him, describing a strange occurrence that had happened near Bend, Oregon in May of 2017. A local man went camping at a place he always camped, but this time he didn't return. In Bandle's words, nearly all of his belongings were found at the campsite along with his car and camera, which contains video of his last moments. His family asks that if anyone has any information as to where his whereabouts, that they please come forward. In the video, the man explains that he's solo camping at this site, though it's off the beaten path. People are often here. In fact, he says he can hear people nearby. He says he's going to get a campfire going later. Then he zooms in on what he calls a creepy creation of what appears to be the structure of a teepee beyond some trees. He walks over to a pit, which he says looks like a grave and is surrounded by flies. Inside the pit are a pair of black garbage bags, full of something. Although the man offhandedly says it would be crazy if he found a body, he decides that it must just be trash. He then walks over to the teepee structure, and there's trash inside that too. He says it looked like they built a fire inside the teepee. He again offhandedly says he hopes that they don't come back for a ritual or something. As day turns to night, the man is in his tent when he hears something outside and it doesn't sound like an animal. It almost sounds like a bottle rolling over rocks. This dude opens his tent and runs out into the darkness, forgetting his flashlight. He navigates through the forest with his night vision. He is now lost, wandering through the darkness, having been chased off by who knows what. He might think he's alone in the darkness, but as he walks further, he catches a glimpse of a figure in his midst. After jerking the camera away, the clip ends. The video claims that Jeff Kessler was never seen or heard from again. Is this a true story or fiction? The uploader claims a Facebook page entitled Bring Home Our Jeff had been set up at the time, and it is a real page, though it's inactive now. Was Jeff taken? Your guess is as good as mine. Though there are plenty of strange noises caught on tape, this one is as scary as it is mysterious. Published by Jimmy Dillard in June of 2013, Dillard left his camera in the forest to capture deer. Instead, he captured some strange screaming, grunting, and rocks being thrown at his camera. While Dillard thought it might just be children playing around or a homeless man disturbing the forest, we'll never know the truth because the source of the sound and disturbance never appeared on camera. In watching the video, you can hear a bellow echo throughout the wilderness, almost Tarzan-like in nature. Later in the video, you hear tree branches breaking. Then one of the most chilling noises is that of a growl or a bark. The thing sounds human, but not quite. You can hear whatever it is clamber through the leaves and branches. The whole video is quite unsettling, almost more upsetting, because you can't see the source of the sound. Although, from the sounds of it, the creature must be very near. You expect it to jump out at you at any moment. I've been hiking and camping since I was little, and I've heard just about every animal in Georgia, but I've never heard anything like this, Dillard wrote. One thing to keep in mind is that elk and moose don't inhabit this region, but could it be some other animal? Which leaves us to wonder, what in the world is residing in this forest? As it turns out, nostalgia isn't always a good thing. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hey There, You Are Okay, the Redditor explains, So I was going through my old 3DS photos for nostalgia. The reason why I'm posting on this sub is because I'm not for sure if I caught anything in the background. Do you think think it's younger me being scared? 
The video clip shows an empty bedroom. As he starts to scan the room, the video captures a dark room beyond. It's hard to tell if there's a window in that room. However, something appears to move there, or at least a shadow is cast that mimics movements. The camera passes upward to the ceiling, and when it returns to the closet, the shadow and light has changed a bit. But it's the next time the camera pans from one side to the other that the real change occurs. Explain these unknowable shadows. What is going on here? Is there something or someone in that room? No wonder the Redditor was freaked out. This video is rumored to have been leaked by a lab employee working inside of Area 51. They are recording some kind of incident that occurred inside of a frozen refrigeration chamber. And I guess the power must have gone out or something because a small flashlight is the only thing saving them from complete and total darkness. While searching for an exit, they encounter a large mossy white growth that takes up the entire corner of the room and looks absolutely riddled with disgustingly high levels of bacteria. This only spurs them to move faster as they hurry from room to room. Finally, they open one last door leading to a dead-end test chamber, inhabited by a single living orange organism. The creature, which apparently was being kept in cold darkness until the beam of a flashlight filled its lair, seems more curious than aggressive, almost like it was expecting to be fed. The Area 51 worker drops his camera in surprise and runs, so either he was wandering around some part of the lab that he did not have clearance for, or maybe he was unknowingly chosen as an unwilling human experiment. If this is real, then I definitely feel sorry for any of the people planning on storming Area 51. Here's a freaky sighting. Imagine you're playing guitar with your friends when something decides to pay a visit. Published by Navigon in November of 2007, this creepy video shows some dudes practicing in a bedroom. One is playing the guitar, the other is singing, and the third is recording the session. But as it turns out, there's a fourth uninvited guest nearby. <laughs> As they continue to play, the friend filming the session takes a broader shot of the singer, and towering in the doorway behind him is a seemingly tall man, standing sentry and staring into the room. In the comments of this video, David F.E. writes, It's a humanoid being about seven feet tall, not a ghost. Many people have reported them before. Whatever the case, in the moment, the friend filming doesn't spot the humanoid. The three continue their session without any reaction, and the next time the cameraman pans over, the figure is gone. They must have spotted the humanoid later in the playback, a humanoid that was so close he could have touched them. What would you do if you saw this over your friend's shoulder? There is a haunted painting somewhere in this art gallery in Birmingham, UK. The only problem is Ted Whitehall isn't sure which painting it is, so he calls a pastor to hold an exorcism and cleanse every last one of them. Something demonic is determined not to let that happen. Oh, take it from this place. It has no place here, Lord. I cast this out in the name and I bind it in the mighty... An angry ghost keeps slamming the door. It hates whenever the pastor talks about being cast out and keeps doing its best to interrupt him. I cast you out and bind you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Persistent pastor pushes aside his fear and fires off the final words. You can hear the defeated spirit walk away. Cast it into the pit, Lord, and bind it forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That could just be somebody off camera walking away. So let's turn our attention towards the chair, which Ted says is made of cast iron. Can anybody tell me if this is really made out of cast iron? If so, it should weigh a ton and be virtually impossible to move. To call this paranormal activity would be an understatement. This is one powerful painting. A family in the Philippines is holding a ceremony for their child when something amazing happens.
Their baby begins to move. The parents pluck their child and wrap it in blankets. Just yesterday, medical examiners had told them that their child had passed from a severe fever. Now clearly still alive, though the parents are relieved, terror soon set in as they realized how close they came to burying their baby alive. Okay, this video is bizarre and just plain really weird. A kid on YouTube named Nature the Bee is making a random video about his cat. Little did he know that he caught a mysterious figure on camera. And that's the end of the first trailer. I hope you've enjoyed Creeping around the house is a strange, ghostly apparition. It was not part of the skit he was doing at all and really has no place being there. Plus, the way it looks from behind the corner is beyond creepy. You can see some more scary stuff when you zoom in, like a freaky frowning face that the uploader thinks could be a ghost or a demon sighting caught on video. I think this video could be edited, but if not, then I'd say his house is definitely haunted by something paranormal. Clay of a paranormal YouTube channel called Time to Play TV is exploring the old Hamilton County Jail in Jasper, Florida on a ghost hunting investigation. Built in 1893, this haunted jail was in operation for 101 years. It is the resting place of many who are believed to have returned as wailing apparitions, slamming doors shut and turning on the lights. Some sections have been remodeled, and this guest bedroom is where you'll find a creepy possessed doll. As they are moving the creepy doll from its crib to the bed, a bizarre shadow goes ahead of them and disappears under the bed. Anyway, they sit her up and set up paranormal equipment to better investigate, and that's when the situation goes from strange to beyond creepy. 4 minutes and 27 seconds into the video is when they are able to convince a ghost to communicate through EVP equipment. Are you okay with us being in this room right now? Yes. Yes. Another yes. Yeah. I don't think these EVPs are pre recorded messages on a fake ghost hunting app because the scary voices continue to make sense and answer very specific questions in real time. Do you know who we are? Like, can you tell us our names? Yes. Yes. A little ghost girl's voice says something I can't understand. And as the creepy doll moves by itself, the scary voice of a little ghost girl screams right before the doll falls over. Oh my gosh. The doll just That's been up for her. They sit the cursed toy upright and resume the paranormal experiment. If that was a spirit, can you make one of the uh, meters go off? Oh, whoa, whoa. Seen it? What? Oh, look at my meter. Many of the paranormal EVP they've caught on camera has been the voice of a child, so they logically infer that this could be a spirit of a child trapped inside of the doll. Are you a young spirit? Are you a child? Look, you see that? Somehow, the doll creepily nods with agreement that it's possessed by a little girl, and then it presents them with some of the best paranormal evidence of the night. Well, I'm pretty sure that was you uh, that maybe moved the doll and did the K2 meter. Now we'd like to... Whoa! <laughs> oh my... The K2 meter just fell over. Somehow, upon the very mention of her paranormal equipment, her ghost meter, which is right by the doll's hand, falls over on its own, but the doll remains sitting up. Whatever this is, I think it's definitely paranormal and feeding off of their fearful energy. Oh my god, this is so creepy. Whoa, okay. <laughs> This time, they put the doll leaning back at an angle where it's impossible for it to fall forward by itself, and yet as they continue to speak, the toy leans forward and turns towards them as if making eye contact. Who's making that doll move? I am. I said I am. The more they talk, the stronger it becomes, and after a while, the doll is falling clear off the bed. 
It's too bad that we couldn't get a wider angle to prove that the ghost hunters weren't touching anything when it fell over. I feel like Clay could have ran his hand under the pillow to make it fall over, but they sound genuinely surprised so I doubt it. Also, this final piece of paranormal evidence is enough proof in my mind that the Hamilton County Jail is quite haunted. They wait for their equipment to register movement and get nothing until they challenge it. Don't be shy or scared. Maybe you're scared and you don't want to do it because you're scared. Oh. That works a lot. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> I think this is real because if you listen close, it beeps as soon as he says the word scared. Maybe you're scared and you don't want to do it because you're scared. Oh. If you have a chance to visit a former institute, don't. Published by Steve Ronan in October of 2021, this pair of scary videos will send you running for the hills. In the first video, Ronan talks about how Lechtworth is where unethical testing was done on patients. When journalists exposed this, the place was shut down. As he's putting on some gear later, he hears someone near. He thinks it's Mo. Mo? Another sound is heard and it doesn't seem to be the crew. Okay, someone else has to come with me because I legit heard something. What the f You okay? Okay, that wasn't me. They think it came from an adjacent room. The paranormal activity ramps up when one of the crew thinks he saw a person. They are later walking down a hallway when a door either opens or closes behind them. Like someone or something walking outside. They catch the sound on two separate cameras. Walking outside. <gasps> As they continue moving through Lechtworth, a sound like a rock being thrown occurs to their left. What's this door? What the f They then attempt to open the doors ahead and something shuts the door on one of them. Nothing in here. What was that? What? There's something that shut the f***ing door on me. It literally just shut the f***ing door. There's someone behind the door. There's someone actually behind the f***ing door. They pry the door open again to see if there's someone inside, but it's an empty room. As they're wondering if someone fled through the window, their answer arrives in the form of the door slamming shut. What the f***? Yo. It won't open and they call out for Mo to push from the other side. Mo manages to kick the door open and they're all relieved to be out of that room. They then talk to the spirits, asking them to come in contact again, and the spirits answer in kind. If that was your way of making contact with us, can you do it again? Yo! They race down the hallway, fleeing for their lives, but before they do, they look in this room one more time. Finding it empty again, something starts banging loudly and repeatedly in the dark hallway. Go through the window, the bushes are too. Yeah. Oh, Still nothing to be seen. As they're heading to the stairs toward the creepy basement, a creaky door is heard opening and closing. It's gonna take us to the basement. Yo. What was that? In the team's second video, they explore the basement, which they soon discover is just as creepy as the floor above. They attempt to speak with the demons using a phone EVP. As they're communicating, another bang is heard behind them. Are you angry right now? <laughs> when they start challenging the demons to slam a door shut, things get a little crazy claiming he saw the door shake a little. Like two minutes. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys, guys, guys. It just moved. Mo soon starts to get woozy. Oh, I'm feeling weird. Oh, yeah. Mo? Mo? I'm feeling lightheaded. Dude, your face got all pale. 
Pale faced, Mo says he feels dizzy and lightheaded and so sits down for a moment. They're heading down the stairs when Mo gets dizzy again and falls to the ground. Later, he is not being himself and becomes aggressive with the rest of the crew. Where is he? I don't know, man. Just be careful. He's not himself. Has Mo become possessed? Guess that's what happens when you start challenging demons. Three friends bravely choose to summon Bloody Mary while one of their parents records. They recite her name three times in the mirror, and when nothing happens, they decide that the legend is a bust. The dad makes fun of them for a little bit, and they go on with their day. I guess now we know that Mary Worth um, doesn't like you. According to them, it wasn't until much later that they actually looked at the video and noticed some strange occurrences that made them upload it onto YouTube. Look at the countertop in the upper left hand corner. Oh please, come on now. Um, well, what other ideas? I don't know, other ideas of, of how to get her to jump maybe, out of the mirror at us. Maybe it takes a little longer. Like how long? The candle appears to move by itself on at least two separate occasions. I guess it could have been magnets, but I really don't understand how. It's important to add that they were all picking the candles up to light them just a moment earlier, and nothing was hidden underneath. Give me your best guess as to how they moved these candles. Or better yet, tell me if you think it was Bloody Mary who was moving them. It's a little past 3am when Brayden Lee hears objects falling over and strange noises coming from within the wall. The situation sounds like it could be paranormal until he turns the lights on and sees this small but scary creature perched in the corner of the room. Now it's time for his dad to get the creature out of his home and into the night. The bat has been flying everywhere, and he only has a few moments to act before it goes airborne again, so he has no choice but to put on some gloves and catch the creature. And it's all caught on tape to make for a scary 3AM video indeed. <laughs> He lets out a terrified scream and fumbles the bat before recovering and taking it outside. I'm glad that everyone is alright and that it didn't land on his face or anything because it definitely would have defended itself and there's no telling where that creature has been or what it has. Oh my god. That was good. Trace, am I a hero or what? Joe Rob TV sees something on the side of the road that's so creepy, he isn't even sure if he was imagining it or not, so he has to take a second look. This time he has his camera ready to record. What the f Oh, what the f Oh, what the f the strange person slowly approaches with their hands in their pockets, almost like they've been expecting him and Joe Rob quickly speeds off. It's hard to tell if they are wearing a Halloween mask or if their facial features are really that oversized and distorted in real life. If they are wearing a mask, it must extend under the shirt because I can't see where the mask ends and their neckline begins. Junior Tour 1 helps his father move a table and only when they put it down does he notice something he wishes he never caught on camera. And uh, we picked it up under here and uh, we carried it out and uh, when I uh, flipped it over, guess what I discovered? And I stuck my hands under there. From the view at 36 seconds, it's easy to see how the spider stayed hidden from view. The circled area is where the spider is and also exactly where he grabbed the table to lift it. For better context, this is where his fingers were. And of course, you already know where the spider is. He thinks this is a wolf spider, but someone else claims this to be a dark fishing spider. This is a fierce debate in the comments section of the video, so let's see if we can settle the issue here. Never in a million years should you cross this bridge. Posted to TikTok by Real Horror Talk, a man on a motorcycle enters onto a narrow wooden bridge crossing a wide and fast moving river. There are no railings. Let's watch. As he rides steadily across, he looks to his right and then to his left. The water is flowing rapidly past. He continues on as if he does this every day, and maybe he does.
Those in the comments say when he looked left, they fell in the water. Others say it's like a terrible dream, but TikToker Trust Me has a more accurate reading. He writes, How my parents got to school. I think we've all been there. Brian Wood is not home when somebody he doesn't know decides to enter his home in Bellin, New Mexico. All he can do is watch helplessly as they violate his home, walking out with item after item of things he's worked hard for. Knowing the police are on the way gives Brian some relief, but it doesn't do much good when somebody enters the same room as your pets and you have no idea what they intend to do to them. The intruder doesn't seem to care about his cat. He's done this many times before and is so at ease that he makes a phone call when he walks around a stranger's home talking to someone about the items he's taking while ransacking drawers and jacket pockets. By the time he's through, he's standing right in front of a security camera. He doesn't even seem phased or worried about getting caught as he palms it and leaves. Cops arrives minutes too late, but he was caught the next day. He makes no attempt to conceal his face or fingerprints, so I'm not surprised. If Brian didn't have this creepy encounter recorded on livestream, it would have been a lot harder. What is moving in the darkness on this foggy road? The YouTuber thinks he's spotted a skinwalker. He gets out of his car to take a closer look, but when he does, Skinwalker or not, you'd better run. You might want to rethink booking that Airbnb after seeing this scary video posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit. By Lemonisa, the Redditor writes that spooky sounds during the first night in this rental home in Norway kept waking her and her partner. This prompted her to start recording. This is what she captured. In an upper slanted window facing the living room, a mysterious white anomaly appears. After a moment, the anomaly slowly fades away before completely vanishing. It's not clear if the figure is beyond the window looking in or something inside the house is being reflected. Some in the comments think it looks extraterrestrial. Others say it looks like a face or hand pressed against the glass. The Redditor mentions in the comments that this house was haunted. She says that they'd be sitting in the living room and would hear random things fall from the counter and strange noises from the basement. She notes that this first night in the home was especially creepy. Would you have the courage to remain a second night in the house if you saw this in the window? I sure wouldn't. A YouTuber named Kamadina is recording his sister and parents in a parking lot while on vacation when he gets the strange and eerie sensation that he is being watched. He turns around and walks for a bit in the direction that he feels he is being watched from, and then he zooms in. Sure enough, this pale figure stands facing him from afar. He turns around to go back into his hotel, but the feeling of eyes upon him returns. He turns around to take in the figure one last time, who is still standing in the same spot far away from all of the cars and everything else of interest. Their white outfit looks suspiciously bright given the low lighting. That was weird. Wait a minute. 
Camadina hasn't a clue as to what this could be, or if one day he will see it again soon. Much closer next time. A YouTuber named Area Awesomeness claims these pet leeches are for more than just a show. Apparently, they can help treat things, but the only way to experience these supposed benefits is by letting a leech latch on to you. And believe it or not, these ones are only about a year old and not even full size. Adults can grow up to two feet in length and would pack an even bigger bite. With this in mind, the whole situation stresses me out too much to try it, but that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think about this part. They can either be fed, I guess, human blood, animal blood, whatever you prefer. And if you would be brave enough to try, this window washer is apparently unconcerned with keeping his life, let alone his job. The brazen worker sees nothing wrong with standing on a ledge that's so narrow. He has to spread his feet outwards just to keep any semblance of traction. And of course, the only way to wash the window in this position is to fully shut it. Notice how there's no safety harness or any other equipment for that matter. If he loses his balance now, the only way to fall is straight down. Meanwhile, he has to rely on a spotter to open the window from the inside to let him back in. And when it's finally time to open the window, he has to wedge his arms in the frame and hold one of the most awkward positions I've ever seen. The cameraman, who is panicking for him, pans down to the ground to show that this video is not a joke. This is a drop he absolutely would not survive. Sometimes those abandoned buildings that some urban explorers enter are not entirely abandoned. In fact, in some cases, they're the stomping grounds for the occult. Published to YouTube by Lego Papa TV in March of 2020, Papa was likely not expecting to be chased down by a hooded stranger performing a ritual in a house where lives have been taken, but that's exactly what happened. He writes, This is probably the scariest moment of my life I ever had. When moments like this happens, out of nowhere you put yourself in a situation that your mind goes blank. Papa explores the dark dwelling, which certainly gives off an aura that something terrible happened here. The house is utterly destroyed, littered with garbage, ransacked, covered with graffiti, and generally torn apart. As many in the comments point out, there were wet footprints at the doorstep, which may indicate that somebody recently entered the house, or was in fact there, or was still, in fact, there at the same time. And soon, Papa discovers he is not alone. As he wanders throughout the house, he hears noises. I know she stepped upstairs. Hello, anybody here? He even sees a flashlight as someone searches for him while he hides out in a bathroom. For some reason, despite all this, he continues exploring the house, ending up in the basement. But when he hears distinctive footsteps overhead, he hightails it out of there. Likely because it dawns on him that if he was to remain in the basement, he'd be completely trapped. It seems he escaped just in time. As he runs off into the woods, he glances back to capture a hooded person on camera, standing on the porch steps. If he had left a minute later, who knows what might have happened. Creator subreddit. This redditor writes, I've been getting haunted for a while now, and now it's messing with childhood pictures of me. In the clip, the kid says his door won't stop opening, and in that moment it's flung open. Shortly after, a series of pictures falls slightly from the wall and starts to swing. Is this a demon as the Redditor suggests? Another Redditor in the comments thinks it may be a ghost or a spirit, but likely not a demon. He offers advice writing, Ask it how you can help. Maybe research your house to see what may have happened there. Other Redditors like iPro the Floor thinks this video looks legit. I'm genuinely scared for you, he writes. I think we all are. Some folks are good narrators getting carried away by their own storytelling. 
This one should have noticed how true her story was. This video was originally posted to TikTok by Briar May. In the video, Briar is telling a creepy story while sitting on her bed. As she describes how her stepsister used to wait under her bed and grab her ankles, the camera pans back to capture her bedroom door slamming closed at the most inopportune moment, heightening the fear of the horror story. But don't be distracted by the sound. Look under the bed. Her room is not empty after all. Is that Briar's stepsister? Or are her ankles about to be grabbed by the true blue monster under the bed? This is a horror story come to life. I just hope everybody was alright. When Ravi Singh and his friends see two mysterious figures in white, they have an odd reaction and decide to flash their high beams instead of driving away. I feel like they are trying to prove a point here, but I don't understand. So if you speak the language, tell me what they're saying. What's kind of weird is how the possible spirits always seem to stay just outside of the headlights, almost like they want to follow but only while staying in the darkness. And I think they are trying to point out that the spirits do not show up on the dash cam, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm hoping someone can translate this scenario because I really want to know what's going on. If you saw this on your home security camera, what would you think? According to Johnny Smither 333, who posted the video to the ghosts subreddit, the strange capture came from his living room's motion detection camera. Whatever this flash is had enough presence to set off the camera, but it's unclear what that blur might be. While many in the comments say it's a bug, others like SPM Wiggy offers more creative suggestions. She writes, It's a tiny witch on a matchstick. Clearly you can see the hat and the giant witch nose. Another redditor suggests that it could be gremlins. The redditor says that in slow motion, it looks like it appeared out of thin air. He also notes that as soon as it gets closer to the camera, it doesn't look like any bug he's seen. Have you seen a bug that looks like this? I know that's likely the culprit in cases of videos like this, but I definitely agree I've never seen a bug that looks like this before. Therefore, there is at least a reasonable chance this is truly paranormal. Are there paranormal happenings recurring in your home? This YouTuber can relate. Published to YouTube by Youngboy Lloyd in March of 2020, Lloyd asks viewers for help as he believes there's a ghost in his home. He shows video proof across a series of three clips. The first part shows him watching something on TV when a plant falls over on its own accord and rolls off the entertainment center. When Lloyd moves to pick it up, it falls over again and he gets scared off by something unseen. In the next clip, he takes action, burning Sage to get rid of the ghostly presence. And as he does so, the chair at the end of the table starts moving. Lloyd doesn't notice at first, so the ghost forces him to, aggressively flinging the chair onto its side. In the last video, Lloyd says he's not going to allow a ghost to take over his house. As he's talking, a cabinet door opens behind him in the next room. A pot on the counter can be seen falling to the floor. Lloyd jumps up from his seat and tells the ghost to leave. Eve, I think my wine went up. Did the ghost listen? I don't think so. Some property owners just can't let go. Posted by Sour Sweet Gone to the ghost subreddit, the previous owner of this restaurant makes his jealousy known. The security footage shows some employees behind the counter at the restaurant, preparing some paperwork. No customers are present, and that's probably a good thing. Suddenly, a framed picture on the wall falls straight down onto the one below it and flips over onto the floor. 
One of the workers literally throws his hands into the air while the other jumps, covering her mouth in astonishment. According to the Redditor, the picture that fell was an award for the new owner's restaurant. As the previous owner soar about their success, some of the comments suggest the nail or wall fastening fell out or broke, but the Redditor has an answer for that and says the nail was still in the wall and the way it was hung made falling on its own seem unlikely. So what do you think? Broken nail or jealous ghost? I think that's a pretty fair explanation about the nail, so I'm definitely leaning on the side of the paranormal. This footage comes from a convenience store in India. After it was captured by an old security camera late one night, an orb glows with bright intensity as it glides around the empty store at random. The next day, a group of workers watch the tapes in amazement. I normally don't include orb videos because they tend to look all the same to me, but this video looks a little different. First, it seems to match the same grainy footage of the CCTV system very well. Second, the sides of the orb appear to be shimmering in a random pattern that would be hard to fake. If anyone can translate what they are saying in this video, then please let me know. Also, tell me if it sounds like they are legitimately surprised or just acting. Jack Cook's son Michael has been acting strange for days, not like himself at all. He is normally a happy child, but he is visibly agitated during his birthday and seems to channel all of his anger into a single act of defiance. When it comes time to blow out the candles, day to you. Michael, make a wish. Cheer up, big guy. Cheer up. His father can't believe what he just witnessed and orders his son to do it again. Sure enough, Michael somehow is controlling the flames with his mind. The obvious answer is somebody is blowing out the candles off camera, but I don't hear anything. Watch the father's explanation and tell me if you think his emotions are real or simply good acting skills. It's been a week now since Michael went into the hospital and <laughs> doctors don't know what's wrong with him. A kid feels suddenly and inexplicably watched from the front door. He looks through the peephole and can't believe what he sees. He grabs his phone to show us that his apartment is haunted by a ghost. It looks like something scary is peeking at him from around the corner. It's creepy beyond belief, but look at this bright fluorescent light. I think he's using the light to bend a basic lens flare into the appearance of a figure. If so, then this video could help explain how a lot of other supposed ghost sightings were really just tricks of light caught on camera. But if that's not the case, then I have no explanation for what he managed to record that night. A YouTuber named Angelo Black gathers some friends and together they head to a local tunnel that's rumored to get more terrifying and dangerous the farther down you go. They begin their journey with the goal of going deeper than anyone has dared to before laughing and joking at first, but soon growing more serious as they huddle close, banding together against a gnawing, claustrophobic dread that nobody wants to be the first to acknowledge. Eventually, they find a lonely portion of pipe that is next to no graffiti and bravely keep going. After traveling a great distance, they're now staring down an even narrower passageway that feels wrong enough to make all of them stop. One of them asks who's there, and this wild growl comes from the darkness within. Who's there? Before they even have time to react, the camera person thinks a face is looking at them, which I don't see, but I do hear this faint moan shortly afterwards. It's definitely coming from up ahead. The moan soon changes into the same growl again, even louder this time, that I think might actually be a rusty old drain pipe letting loose. Still, I wouldn't take any chances by sticking around, especially not after I heard this. 
Their phone mysteriously stops recording at this point, and they get out of there fast. But whether it stops recording because of a low battery or because of paranormal interference has never been verified. YouTuber Jossi Sandhu Official captured what he believes is a real witch on camera. First, he hears her crying. Then he sees her. Then she lets out this wail that would drive anyone away. Is this truly a witch? I think so. I've never heard something so otherworldly in my life. A dad and a daughter are all smiles as they board an elevator. The ride is smooth and they look at themselves in the mirror for about 30 seconds, completely unaware of how unsafe they actually are. Minutes later, the empty elevator is ripping past floors with enough speed to shake the entire carriage. The door is slightly open and nothing is working properly as the lift slams into the roof hard enough to dislodge panels and light fixtures. Thankfully, no passengers were on board, but had the two from earlier still been inside, it would have been a daddy-daughter demise for certain. I can only wonder how many times something like this has almost happened to you or me without realizing. In Toy Story, the toys come to life in a charming manner when the kids are away, but when it happens in this video, it's more chilling than charming. Originally posted to TikTok by Oscar Ferlin, the video shows a Woody doll standing upright on the kitchen counter with one hand on a can. Noticing that a human person has entered, the doll glances over at him before dropping his hand, going stiff like a board, and falling over backwards into the kitchen sink. Although it truly does look eerily real, some claim it's an animation, while Redditor Anna Cabana says the dolls are designed to fall over in this manner when hearing the phrase, someone's coming. Regardless of whether it's an animation or the toy's design, I think we can all agree with Mythical Gamer 9 who writes, Eh, it looks a bit too real, still very creepy. Definitely not a toy on my wish list. This video was reportedly taken by a Navy patrol boat off the coast of Chile in South America. What appears to be a gigantic, slow-moving UFO is soon confirmed by both the Navy and a nearby air traffic control tower to not be one of their own. I was thinking maybe this was an ordinary blimp or a helicopter until it emits some kind of inky mystery substance at the 8 minute 18 second mark. The camera cuts away for a bit and then approximately 5 seconds later you can see the substance has solidified into a thick, clumpy mass. As if that isn't weird enough, the UFO then detaches itself from the mass, which hangs completely suspended in midair, and keeps on going until it's no longer in sight. I have certainly never seen an aircraft do that before, and it doesn't look normal at all. If this is not edited, then I have little doubt that this visitor is from another planet entirely. This next video shows that even a zip line is in perfect condition, with flawless equipment is never truly safe. Sometimes things just go wrong. A giant gator pops up to try and snag this instructor out of the air. There is a decent amount of space between the two, but I'm sure it was plenty close enough if you asked her. And she definitely knows what waits for her should she ever make a future mistake and fall in. So I guess the final and most important lesson of zip lining over water is to always keep your legs up because you never know what's lurking below the surface waiting to take a chomp. There's a YouTube channel called Happy Life that ironically explores some of the most miserably haunted places in all of Pakistan. Happy Life began as a spiritual advice channel, and now they hope to better understand the darker side of spirituality through paranormal investigations like this one. This time, the Happy Life crew intends to check out a haunted school where numerous students were said to have lost their lives. Early on, they encounter a poltergeist who is intent on chasing them away. The first encounter sounds like it's throwing plates, but then it graduates to a heavy bottle that could have really done them harm. <laughs> 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 
Doors also repeatedly close as if something really doesn't want them to go any further. But the more I look at it, the more I think the cameraman is responsible for all of this rather than a ghost. The objects always just so happen to be thrown from the cameraman's direction, a strange coincidence, and the camera person always seems to be within arm's reach whenever the doors close, so I think he is either kicking it or else pushing it shut with his free hand. But when they get to the very top of the school, they find this mysterious red streak of dried up liquid overlooking the balcony. So even though parts of this video may have possibly been embellished, perhaps a student really did lose their life here after all. The situation only gets weirder when they come across a star in the hall that could have been used as a ritual or simply drawn by them to make the video scarier. I think it could be real though, because look what happens soon after one of them kneels in the middle. The way it echoes down the hall sounds forcefully loud and possibly real. One of them explores a room, while the other records from outside the window. No one else is nearby, so then tell me who is responsible for what happens next. They decide the inside is too dangerous to go any further and stick to the outer perimeter. Eventually, they come across a shallow well that gives off a residual negative energy that could be left over from a terrible and tragic event. Something compels them to climb inside, and sure enough, the dirt has been freshly disturbed. An ore passes left to right over the small grave as he plucks this fragment of human and holds it to the camera. While this ghost hunter explored a cathedral, he was met with something unexpected the devil. Ghost Hunter Red Fox set up a Ouija board inside this haunted cathedral and soon felt like he was being watched. <sighs> And not only watch, but something is clearly present. Watch the playback, nothing is in the hallway from where the sound was coming from. And then that nothing is coming straight at him. The playback again shows nothing there. Until the big reveal. The playback reveals all areas of the cathedral on camera while this occurred. Later, the ghost hunter discovers his Ouija board has been misplaced. Looks like the devil has left the chat. What happens when the next generation wants nothing to do with the family property in the middle of nowhere? Published by Jordan Sovis, Jordan and Chris explore a house that's been abandoned out in the country for a couple of years. They crawl under the garage door and jimmy their way in using a credit card. Inside, they find a lovely piano for the ghost pianist to play. And while searching the place, they spot someone outside. Dude, there's a dude outside. What? Hasn't this place been abandoned for like, ever? Is this the home's caretaker? Or something else entirely? Using a pendulum, they start asking the ghosts questions. They ask if they're in good spirits, and they're told no. Later, they ask the spirits if they can make their presence known, and the spirit answers, Are you present with us here in this house? As they start to panic, the ghosts don't let up. Did that seriously just happen? Calm down. Calm down. What is going on? 
Is that you? For some reason, even after all of that, the guys stay. They again ask if there are spirits here, and this time the spirits reply with a song. The piano keeps playing, even after they've raced out of the house. No way, dude. Dude. No way. Did that piano just seriously play by itself? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Still, they return. The piano continues to play and then this happens. Not long after, the ghost goes full on poltergeist. Now we can see why this home was abandoned in the first place. What was it? Go. You go first, man. I don't want to be in this Dude, place. I don't want it straight up. Holy <laughs> Dude, what? Why are you laughing right now? Seriously. What is going on? I'm delirious. <laughs> This image will soon be a permanent fixture in your brain. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Scared Shirtless underscore 420 is wondering, what is this? The image shows a large and intimidating figure ready to spring down the hallway at us. A woman whose face is censored is sitting against the wall on the floor. She appears unconscious or indisposed. The photo, whose origins are a mystery, is taken in a dilapidated hallway, likely in an abandoned building. But the scene's context leaves a lot to the imagination. What is this place? Who are these people? Did this mysterious beast attempt to take the life of this woman? And is it coming for you next? What's your theory? Jeff Kessler is camping in the middle of nowhere, all by himself when a low rumbling noise jolts him awake. It's coming from just outside his tent. He bravely investigates the perimeter of his campsite, armed with only a flashlight. After some searching, he finally comes across the creature that woke him up a few minutes earlier. It appears to be an oddly shaped humanoid creature with broad hips and shoulders, but skinny limbs and a narrow head. Jeff only briefly catches it on camera before turning to run. Apparently, park rangers found his camera under this heavy and mysterious structure of bundled trees, but no signs of Jeff himself. I could find no news articles to verify this story as real, so it could just be an art project. Then again, or maybe it was even a cover-up. Let me know what you think. There's an alleged wolf cryptid that's said to roam the Allegheny National Park in Kane, Pennsylvania. The first sighting in 2017 describes it as tall, muscular, dark hair, and strange legs. This newer sighting two years later at the same location does show a mysterious creature with long, pointy, wolf-like ears but I'm not sure if it's real. First of all, when it takes a step at 44 seconds, the legs look normal and I'm pretty sure it's wearing clothes, not fur. Even the uploader of this video thinks it could have been a kid playing a joke. He says that the creature turned and ran after this video was taken, which I guess could have happened. But something about this video seems like it could have been made up, so I'm not exactly sure what to believe. There's a scary haunted tunnel in Pakistan that MMTV wants to go exploring to see what creepy things he can find inside. Exploring a haunted tunnel in the desert at night by yourself, what can go wrong? Apparently a lot. A sparkling cloud of mist lingers around him, spirits he suspects. First it travels in one direction, disappears and comes back to guide him towards the tunnel. That's really weird, but some downright scary things are caught on camera when he goes to the entrance, like this red stain on the ground that shapes the outline of a person. Strange, unexplained lights give him pause, and you can say whatever you want about this freakishly deep laughter. 
Ike, uh. Yalla. Oi. It's not the wind. The wind doesn't blow tires. He gets out of there fast, not wanting to face whatever is haunting this strange place. And when he takes one last glance at the entrance, he spies movement from above. Something wants to follow him home. After all of these scary moments, I would say yes, this tunnel is haunted. A person is filming a strange aircraft outside of their home as it performs mysterious maneuvers that they've never seen before. Steady speed, drop down, now he's dropping. There's not a single cloud in the sky, yet the airplane appears to be blinking in and out of existence. It completely disappears after a while and never returns. What strikes me as odd is the sheer number of comments from YouTubers who claim that they were searching for the exact same thing after they had seen it flying around their home. Everything from UFOs to new cloaking technology has been suggested. I'll leave you with a different video of the same type of plane, this time taken years later. There are tons of these kinds of videos floating around, and they seem fairly legitimate. Let me know what you think. If you plan to ghost hunt in a haunted forest, prepare to meet your doom. YouTuber Kelsey Davies and her crew encountered several paranormal events in their forest ghost hunt. First, she hears a woman's voice. I just heard a woman humming. That sounds more like a shout than a hum to me. Apparently, Kelsey saw her too. She was crouched down by the creek, humming, with no shoes on. As they approach the creek in question, Susie feels like she was pushed. You guys don't push me. I didn't. What? What? Someone pushed you? Stop. So <laughs> where's the <laughs> I swear. Don't push me. I didn't. It was him. He's staying right here. <laughs> Did someone push Did someone Susie? Push you? Don't push me. When asked if somebody tried to push Susie into the water, the spirits have an answer for Kelsey. I heard yes, and then it said we are coming. We are. are you guys coming? While they continue to speak through the spirit box, one of them hears the name Susie. Why? I heard Susie. I swear oh to my God, God, I heard really? Susie. It seems this spirit is out to get Susie. Right behind you, whoever. I can't even speak right now. Oh, that's it, I'm here. Yeah. That's it, I'm it here. It literally said I'm here. The spirits repeat their intentions. What the? That was, we're all coming. That, was a, that literally that was said we're all coming. Voice, that was not like a regular no, voice. That no. was like a demonic voice. That was really bad. And their thirst for Susie doesn't end there. Oh my god! Susie! Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. I heard that's my second time. Why do they want me so I think this is a valid question. Why are the spirits coming after Susie? And did the ghost woman by the creek try and push Susie into the water? If I were her, I'd take this as a sign to get the heck out of there. When you're in the middle of the woods, alone and defenseless, the last thing you want to hear is this. <laughs> This horrifying sound, according to its uploader, is a cougar mating call. But what it sounds like is a woman shrieking for her life in fear or inexplicable horror, coupled with the moaning, horn-like sound of an unknown creature. If you hadn't been told this was a cougar, how would you feel hearing this in the middle of the woods? <laughs> I 
I mean, maybe it's just more horrifying knowing that it is a cougar, as it might just go for your face. Redditor Eli uses Reddit shares his opinion saying, Hearing this without thinking it's a cougar would honestly make me blank myself, with many in the thread agreeing with that summation. Others liken the sound to a woman having her life taken, while well, some think it sounds like a zombie breakout or a banshee. Further in the thread, however, Redditor the Lil Hedgehog claims that this sound is not in fact a cougar, but rather really is the sound of a woman shrieking from some police body cam footage, which has been dubbed into the video. Does anyone familiar with animal sounds know what a cougar shriek actually sounds like? Whether or not it's a cougar, I'd have to agree that if I heard this noise in the forest, I would surely panic. A lot of children have had the misfortune of being singled out and picked on by their own personal bully. But there's one child in Spanish Town, Jamaica, who has had the worst luck of all. He says that they are being bullied by an evil spirit and his parents and local town all believe him. Plus, there's video evidence for proof. His face has been blurred out to protect his dark secret. One video shows him sitting in a chair with his family. After being asked a few questions, the ghost decides to take control of the situation. Although he could have been pushing off the ground with his feet, you can't see the floor in this video so it's hard to tell. One thing is for sure though, look closely and you can see the boy's hand right arm fly straight up in the air. It's definitely as if he's being grabbed by the wrist and jerked straight back. If he is faking it, then he is a very good actor. Okay, take a look at the second video and tell me what you think. He is just standing against a wall in his neighborhood when all of a sudden... You can clearly see his whole body in this video as the left leg suddenly shoots up, almost as if someone is pulling him by the foot. Again, if this is fake, then he is a great actor with even better balance. It looks like he really is about to fall flat on his face until his mother rushes in to save him. If a ghost really happens to be crossing over into the material realm and grabbing a hold of his shoe here, no one knows exactly why. Still, the local bishop has no doubt that this relentless ghost bully is real. While well, inside this haunted house, these ghosts Hunters are lured into the forest. Published by Lomar Mendez in October of 2021, the pair consider whether or not something is in the house with them. And as they explore the house, they hear something. The house is probably creaking. Their camera's light appears to be malfunctioning, and soon they become positive that someone else is here. As they wait in fear, they hear a strange noise from the next room, and then they see the figure. They take this as their cue to leave. While they do escape the house without incident, they're being followed. But the big reveal is yet to come. <laughs> well, this is a pretty messed up thing for a dad to do. These two should look on the bright side. This could have ended so much worse. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.